Yet another door is opening up in pro wrestling as New Japan Pro Wrestling has announced their own version of Forbidden Door for this January. During Sunday's AEW and New Japan Forbidden Door, a New Japan promo aired for Wrestle Dynasty on Sunday, January 5th, the day after their annual Wrestle Kingdom event at the Tokyo Dome, where both events will now take place. In the promo, AEW, Ring of Honor, CMLL, and Stardom were featured in addition addition to shots of AEW stars like John Moxley, Brian Danielson, and Kazuchika Okada. In the clip, it was stated, the door finally opens on Japan. Here are some of the top highlights from Forbidden Door. TBS champion Mercedes Monet is now a quote champ champ as she defeated New Japan Strong Women's Champion Stephanie Vacker in a competitive title versus title match. The end came when Mercedes hit the moneymaker, which immediately led into the crossface that got a quick tap from Vacker. This ends Stephanie's 112 day reign which saw her defend the title four times. After more than 10 months out of action, the doctor is back in as Britt Baker made her return during the show to confront Mercedes Monet. Following Mercedes' win over Stephanie, Baker's music hit to a thunderous reaction from Long Island, New York fans. She stayed on the ramp but stared down as Mercedes stared right back at her, holding both the titles in the air. Britt didn't cut any promo. However, an appearance by Britt Baker has been announced for AEW Dynamite. The two have never squared off before with August's All In at London's Wembley Stadium looking like a strong possibility for that first time ever clash. Britt had been out of action since a September 2023 loss to Chris Statlander in a challenge for Chris's then TBS title in Baker's home state of Pennsylvania. It is believed to be due to a back injury, but that has yet to be fully disclosed. Additionally, Brian Danielson and Mariah May have made it to the next round. The two won their qualifying matches at the show to reach the semifinals of the men's and women's Owen Hart Foundation tournaments, respectively. Mariah May was the first to advance during the zero-hour pre-show after catching Soraya in a pin. On the main card, Brian Danielson managed to defeat New Japan Pro Wrestling Shingo Takagi, submitting him with an armbar to make it to the next round. Mariah will now move on to face Hikaru Shida in the semifinals of the women's tournament. The winner of that match will face the winner between Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander in the finals. In the men's tournament, Brian will now immediately move on to face Pac at AEW Dynamite Beach Break on July 3rd. Jay White, meanwhile, will face the winner of a match between Jeff Jarrett and a wild card of the Elite's choosing. The winners of both tournaments will be decided on the July 10th edition of Dynamite, which will take place at the Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The tournament winners will also receive world championship matches that will be held at All In on August 25th. Jack Perry is the new TNT champion. Jack Perry grabbed the title in a ladder match that took place at the show. In a match full of wild bumps and crazy ladder spots, Jack Perry got the win after striking Mark Briscoe with a ladder, stepping over him in order to climb up the ladder and grab the title winning the championship for the first time. After a few months without the gold, Tetsuya Naito is once again IWGP World Heavyweight Champion after defeating Jon Moxley at the show. Naito picked up the victory after hitting the Destino, ending a wild match that spilled all over the ringside area. It's Naito's second run with the championship. His first run lasted roughly four months after he won the gold at January's Wrestle Kingdom 18 before ending in April. AEW is still Swerve Strickland's house after the reigning world champion successfully defended his title against Will Ospreay at Forbidden Door. The win is the first promotional loss for Ospreay since officially starting with the company earlier this year. His AEW international title was not on the line. The end came when a severely weakened Ospreay was staggering around the ring and attempted a weak hidden blade, but Strickland caught him. He paced the ring and then hit a house call kick, followed by his big pressure for the pin and win. This gives Swerve Strickland his fourth successful title defense in his two-plus month run as world champion. Osprey now moves on to defend the international title this Wednesday against Daniel Garcia on Dynamite, while Swerve awaits his next challenger and program, which is assumed to be against the winner of the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. 
which wraps up in a few weeks. Also, Osprey honored Hayabusa with his ring entrance, donning a mask on the way to the ring in addition to wearing a sash and hand wrap during the bout. The stars of AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling talked to the media following Forbidden Door. Here are some of the top highlights. Kicking things off with Mercedes Monet. Before taking questions, she revealed that George Clooney had sent her a bottle of tequila. When asked about Britt Baker's return, she said that a certain wanted to steal her spotlight and that there would be a price to pay for interrupting her. A person asked how she feels physically since returning to action in May. She said that her match with Stephanie Backer was her fourth since her comeback and she feels better than ever. Now moving on to Zack Sabre Jr. who said his goal right now is to be the top wrestler in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Regarding one more match with Brian Danielson, Zack said that they need to have at least one more match in England. He said he has yet to submit Danielson, so he wants one more shot to try it. Tony Storm recited America the Beautiful before inviting Mina Shirakawa on stage. She, Storm, and Mariah May all danced before leaving without taking any questions. On to the AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland. He said following Forbidden Door that he felt he silenced a lot of critics, but will still probably have to silence more in the future. Someone asked what he told Osprey after the match. It basically boiled down to Swerve saying he loved him and was one of the best talents in the world and hoped he could do it again with him someday. Swerve finished by saying that it is gratifying to have a black world champion main eventing shows like Forbidden Door and he doesn't take it for granted. Moving on to the AEW president Tony Khan. It was mentioned that there were 11,000 people at Forbidden Door with a million dollar gate. When asked about how the idea of Wrestle Dynasty came about, Tony instead pushed that it would be a big week for the company. Regarding the Ring of Honor tapings during their stay in the Dallas area, Tony Khan said he was excited about them and pushed Atlantis Jr. winning the ROH television title. Someone asked if All In could be held outside of Wembley. He said that he has focused on this year's show as they've got something really special with Wembley. He added, however, that All In is a huge event anywhere in the world. He also said that ticket sales for All In would likely increase as matches are added to the card. And while he wouldn't know cable buys for a while, digital buys were excellent for Forbidden Door, according to Tony Khan. And that's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.